uh, you know, reading carefully uh, about Muhammad. I've been asked in uh, Facebook that uh, Muslims, they say that the Prophet of Allah was very kind to the point he is not only interested of marrying uh, virgins or young women. He was even caring for old women. So I wanted to uh, make a study about this and see if this is true <coughs> or not. You know, for sure, marriage is something private and everybody have his own idea or his own way to live his life. And it's not my business really to speak about anyone, uh, why he get married, why he don't, why he divorce. This is private. But when you are a public figure, as someone who claimed to be a prophet, and you are a person who claimed that you teach people morality, then we have some questions to ask. <clears throat> In the Middle East, we have a culture, and the culture is until now nothing changed. And I think I think it's the same everywhere, but in the Middle East, it's a lot more. A young person don't marry an old woman. So why Muhammad he did marry an older woman? What was the plan? Is that because he is a merciful prophet who love God? Or because he is a person who is interested in the wealth of that woman? So today we will read together and see what happened exactly. The first wife to Muhammad, it was his employer. Muhammad used to work for a woman, her name is Khadija. Now, this is some biography about her, but I believe it have a lot of false information. However, I'm not going to discuss really much of that biography. What I care for, that Khadija, she was a widow when Muhammad, he married her. Khadija, she have two husbands before Muhammad now for sure this is not really a big deal I mean people get divorced get married or she is and she is a widow she is not even divorcing men they die but when those men they die she inherited his their money and she became a very wealthy woman she was married <clears throat> to very rich men two of them and then Muhammad he took over all the money when he inherited her. The first thing he will notice that in Islam, the Muslim, they say to us <clears throat> that when the Prophet came, Muslim women, they've been given their rights. The fact, as you see, this is before Islam, Muhammad himself was working to a woman. And women after Islam, they have no rights except to be sex toys. The rest is about how to maintain the sex toys. This is the right they talk about. That the man, he have to provide her with food. But as you see here with me, Khadija was the boss of Muhammad. <coughs> and he was making a living from working for her. The Quran says that men are in charge of women because they spend their money and their wealth on them. In this scenario here, we see that Muhammad... Khadija, she was spending her money and her worth on him. After Muhammad, <clears throat> he married Khadija, he don't have a job. He is just the husband of the wife. She have four children or four girls before Muhammad. Now, there is some hadith that say that she have even kids, boys. 
uh, and I believe strongly Muhammad he have no daughters from Khadija this is why Khadija she adopt a child or a man his name is Zaid now this is all is not important but I want you to take a note here that Muhammad he married a woman she was a widow who married two husbands before him the first husband uh, his name shown for you in the screen hold on this is the first husband Malik Ibn Zara and the other one his name is Atiq now this is will help us later to find out if Muhammad was really a truthful man who married this woman because he loved her he liked her not because of her worth Muhammad in the hadith he said that the women will be married for four reasons <clears throat> if you read with me here this is Sahih Muslim Sahih Muslim Muhammad saying the following a woman may be married for four reasons now this is the wise man Muhammad give us given given us the reasons why a man should marry a woman he said for her property for her status statues status as a, like a rich or wealthy or uh, from a good family high 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 rank family her beauty and her religion now remember this is a prophet of God who is speaking about marriage he is not speaking about a man liking a woman why a man he marry a woman and this is for sure his his own opinion as a prophet of God so based on Muhammad the first reason for a man should marry a woman is her property this is number one her property mean her money property is money how many camels she own you know every time have different property so her property is number one reason for Muhammad to marry a woman and her religion is the last reason to marry a woman who is the one is giving this opinion that's Allah messenger so if a Muslim man want to practice Islam he have to practice the advice of his prophet and the advice of his prophet is the first reason to marry a woman is to marry her for her property the second reason if she is from an important family like let us say there's two women one of them she is working in a grocery store but you love her and there's a woman she is the daughter of George Bush so which one you want to marry for sure the daughter of George Bush will win so you marry her for her status the third reason is for her beauty And then the last reason, if she is a good woman. You see it? Text are not clear. Uh, maybe you have a you have a low band uh, internet. Uh, after we finish the video, the video will be more clear. Always, if you have a a bad internet is going to be bad for you later watch the video again you can see it so what we will notice here that Muhammad is focusing in four issues and none of them is about love none of those four issues is about love the four issues in Islam concentrate on money her position is in the society 
and then her beauty and the last thing is her religion now let us think about this a little bit when Muhammad he said the first reason to marry a woman is her property and then the second reason is his status status both is about money because both they will get you the benefit the first one will get you property in your hand the second one will get you will get you connection and a strong uh, position and money because someone she have a status that means she have money she is going to inherit maybe now she don't have the money yet she is a daughter of somebody is very powerful so sooner or later she will inherit the money of this man Based in this, and as long the last reason for a woman to be married is her religion. Why Muhammad married Khadija? By the way, I am open to anyone, any Muslim who would like to call me life and challenge me right now, right here, about this topic. As we knew from the books of Muslims that Khadija when she did marry Muhammad she did not marry him by the agreement of her family if you think about it you will think there's a love story here Khadija and Muhammad in order to get married they had to make a plan and the plan as the following they invited people of Quraysh for a party but nobody knows what the party for and then they made everybody drunk including the father of Khadija when the father of Khadija he woke up he found himself wearing a clothes which usually he wear, he wear when there is a, like a, a very um, let us say like you have a suit you wear it only uh, uh, if there is a high occasion is going to happen so when he woke up he found himself wearing a clothes which he wear usually as we said for a very high important occasion and he found himself his beard is colored there is something like the, the the Arab they practice about coloring their beard a certain like a certain color when you have a wedding party so he said what happened why I'm wearing those clothes and why what happened like you know he could not believe it this is what's happening here So they told him, don't you remember? He said, no. What happened? Khadija, she said, yesterday you married me to Muhammad. He said, no, I did not. She said, no, you did. And then her father, he took his sword and he want to go and go and go in war and attack Muhammad and his family because that will never happen. Muhammad is from a rubbish trashy family very well known in Quraysh not as those people they say to us that Muhammad was from the greatest family otherwise why the father of Khadija feel very much insulted to marry Muhammad to his daughter so Khadija and Muhammad they have a plan to make the father of Khadija get drunk 
and then after he wake up they convinced him or they tried to convince him that he did marry them by his approval but he was drunk but in fact the story confirming the plan of Khadija and if there is any Muslim here when I say this is not true I'm willing to show you the reference right now right here <clears throat> Uh, the funny the Muslims they did not notice how stupid their books and how funny they made their prophet look like when they reported this story but the reason for that because at that time who dared to question the morality of Muhammad who dare nobody Muhammad he says something Muhammad he do something then who dare to question Muhammad behavior no one I will show you the reference in the front of your eyes So everybody can see what we are talking about and for sure the Muslim they will say to you this is weak, you know and So don't uh, Don't don't be surprised if the Muslim says to you. This is a weak hadith You know and this is a rejected hadith uh, We don't accept this hadith. It doesn't matter what you say. This is written in your books and the funny here I want to ask the Muslims who is the one who reject the hadith exactly? He was a witness there the one who rejected the hadith, he was exist in the time of the story? Or he came after the, the guy who wrote the story? How the guy who came after the story, writer, he reject the story? You know what I mean? How somebody, he never witnessed the story, he rejects someone, he is exist before him, reporting the story. Let us go and see what it says in the Muslim books. I will make the, the screen wider so you guys you can see with me, even though it's in Arabic. But for those who speak Arabic and the Muslims cannot say to us, oh, you are making things up. Let us see together what it says there. We go in the story of Khadija. Uh, the page is long, so let me search for it right away. Better wasting our time. <clears throat> Um, let us see. Here we go. This is the story in the front of our eyes. Rawahu Tabarani wa rijaluhu rijalu sahih. This is reported by at tabarani and the men who reported this hadith are trustworthy. Now, the book we are reading from, just to make it simple, here we go, I will go to the top. This is the book of Majma' al-Zawaid. And this is an Islamic website, islamport.com. So, according to At Tabarani, Wa'an ibn Abbas, Wa'an, 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 reported by Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet, etc. According to, according to, uh, very number nine, uh, uh, page number two, two, zero. It says, Uh, 
from Ibn Abbas that Rasulullah, the Prophet of Allah, and Khadija, uh, he wanted to marry Khadija, but her father he rejected from giving him Khadija. So she made food and drink, and she invited her father and a group of Quraysh. So she they ate and they drank. Let me make it more clear because it looks like still you cannot see it. So what, what she did? She made drink. Let me be sure that you guys you can see it. All right. This is better. So she made a drink. And, to, and she invited her father and a group of Quraysh, not everybody in the tribe, let us say friends of her father. So she, they ate and they drank until they get drunk. They drink until they get drunk. حَتَّى ثَمِلُوا فَقَالَتْ خَدِيجَةً إِنَّ مُحَمَّدَ بْنُ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ يَخْطُبُنِي فَزَوِّجْنِي إِيَّاهِ So Khadija, she said, according to the story now, I'm reporting this story, what said this version of the story. Khadija, she said to her father, Muhammad, huh, the son of Abdullah, he want to marry me. So give me, let me marry him. So he agreed to marry her to him. And she dressed him up. A clothes, which a tradition they used to do by the fathers when they get married. And when he woke up from his drunk, he looked and he found himself addressing those clothes up and he like his, his beard is painted as we said so he said what's up why I have those on me she said to him oh you married me yeah you know you married me yesterday to Abdullah the Muhammad ibn Abdullah then he said me I married you for this orphan boy the son of Abi Talib? I swear by God, I don't do that. And then she and he said to her, and th then Khadija, she said to him, Aren't you ashamed that you will be look so foolish in, in the front of Quraysh when you say to people that you were drunk and you approve my marriage? رواه أحمد والطبراني ورجال الصحيح reported by Imam Ahmed and the Imam al-Tabarani and the reporters are sahih trustworthy from this story what we learn that Khadija and Muhammad their marriage was based on a fraud. In different story, you will see it show you more details how Muhammad and Khadija they planned for this party. Now, if Muhammad is a good man and he have any kind of morality, why someone he is going to be a prophet of God, he accept to do a fraud in order to marry a woman. The story here reported again. The same story in the same in the second page, value number nine, page number two, two, one, with more details. That Muhammad and Khadija, they made the father of Khadija drunk because he rejected the marriage. But in this story, the only difference is they, uh, Muhammad uh, and Khadija, they prepare a meal, big meal, 
uh, they are saying here a bakara, which means a cow. And they dressed the father of Khadija when he was a drunk. And they put him inside a nice tent. And when he woke up, he found himself wearing those clothes and he is in that tent, which is a tent used for wedding usually maybe. And then when he asked her why I'm wearing those clothes and what's up, what's happening here? They said to him, oh, you don't remember? You did marry me yesterday to Muhammad. And then according to the story, he went even to the family of Muhammad and he says, your son claimed that I did marry him to my daughter. Which means he's saying, I, I did not. The story reported in many places by many reporters. And all of it proven to us that Muhammad and Khadija, they did a fraud, which means their marriage is based on a fraud. Now, why a person who claimed to be a prophet of God, and the Muslim, they say to us, he is the highest in morality. His marriage, the first thing he did in his life was based on a fraud. And his marriage by based or based on the agreement of those who they are drunk. As you see, the father himself was a drunk. And he is the one who made the father drunk. The man who the Muslim, they say to us, Islam is against alcohol. He established his prophethood by marrying Khadija by using alcohol. We are not done yet because what is coming is even more ugly will show us more and more who is Muhammad for real in different hadith we will find the following this is Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih Muslim sorry Sahih Muslim hadith number 715 as you see with me in the screen Based on the story we see in the front of us, a man, he was in a rush to go and see his wife. Muhammad asked him, why are you in a rush? What, what's wrong? Why, where are you going? Why are you are rushing to go? What happened? The man, he said, well, I'm going to my wife. He's going what? To his wife. Well, Okay, sound good. The man, he is excited to see his wife, which is very normal. Look like he maybe he love her. So the guy reporting the story here says here that Abdullah died. Who is Abdullah? Supposedly this is his brother, the brother of this gentleman. And he left behind nine or seven daughters. This guy, he don't remember how many daughters his, his, his brother have, which is very funny. I married a woman who had been, been previously married. She is previously married. Allah Messenger said to me, Jabir, have you married? I said, yes. He again, which means Muhammad said, a version or one is a previously married guys think about it what is the business of a man to know the situation excuse my language I don't want to be rude but this is what the Muhammad is asking if her vagina is being used before or not what's his business why he want to know if she is a virgin or she is not <laughs> you know what I mean I don't want to be rude in the language I'm using, 
But what is the business of someone who's a prophet of God? A person saying to you, yeah, I'm married. Okay, sound good. So why Muhammad, he want to know the situation of his her vagina? What is the interest of Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, to know of the vagina of this woman? It's been used or not? Who is Muhammad to ask this question? But that because, you see, my questions, my questions, if I'm having a conversation with you, just normal conversation, my question present a lot about my personality, how I think. What is my interest? Correct? If I am the one who's talking to this guy, I will say to him, okay, I hope you are happy with your wife and etc. But if I am a person who is obsessed with young girls, then I will say to him, did you marry a woman? She have a previously used vagina or you have a young girl? Look, look, look. You see what it says here? The man, he says to him, after he asked him the question, I said, Messenger of Allah, would one who was previously married. Whereupon that, Muhammad, he said, why, why, why you don't marry a young girl so that could sport with you? Huh? Why? Are you stupid? Muhammad, he have an objection for this marriage. What is the objection? Read with me carefully. Muhammad said, why? Why don't you marry a young girl so that you could sport with her and she could sport with you? Or you could or, or you could amuse with her and she could amuse with you. That is a prophet of God. The man is happily married. Married. He is not complaining. He have no issue with his wife. He never mentioned anything. What is the business of Muhammad to put his nose in the vagina of his wife? By the way, he want to put his nose there. <laughs> Uh, let us sniff uh, her vagina is sound like it's used is it oh prophet yes uh, her vagina is used she is a previously marriage oh okay oh man what you why you did that why you do that why you don't go and sleep and have sex with a young girl a child like me i did marry a six years old girl why you don't do that now guys the one who advised somebody not to marry a widow and he advised him to marry a virgin and she is a young child why he marry Khadija then do you know now why I mentioned Khadija you know what I mean why he married Khadija if obviously this guy Muhammad he don't like old women he don't even like widows not only old this woman she is not old she is a widow Khadija, she have two husbands before Muhammad, and she is a lot older than Muhammad. And obviously, from the story here, we see that Muhammad, he don't like to marry widows at all, and he don't like to marry old women, and he like children. So why Muhammad marry Khadija? Obviously, for her money. And look, guys, look at the answer this guy, he said. His name is Jabir. He said to him, he answered Muhammad saying, Well, Abdullah, which means his brother, he was a murderer in Ahad, and I left and left nine or seven daughters behind him. This is his brother. Therefore, I did not approve of an idea that I should bring a girl. What he mean by a girl? A child like them. But I preferred to bring a woman who should look after them so muhammad is advising me clearly to marry a child like them 
this man he said I cannot marry a child like you when you marry uh, Aisha because I need a woman who taking care of them not a child who is th themselves they need they need somebody to take care of them you know what I mean obviously with no question about that Muhammad he hate to marry women who they are older he hate to marry women who they are not the children's or let us say females and he don't like old ones so why he married Khadija why he married Khadija that can be answered in the hadith we showed you previously if you remember Muhammad he said a woman may be married for four reasons number one is her property number two is her status number three is her beauty number four is her religion Is it clear that Muhammad is a perverted minded man who love women who they are children's if we can call them women for fun but when he want to do business he want to marry a woman to do business property she have a high position he can get a lot of benefit from this woman so when Muhammad marry Khadija the widow who have two husbands before him and she have kids from the husbands before him he married her for her property and her status and there's no question about that and we showed you how Muhammad and Khadija they performed the marriage it was a fraud how someone he based the first action of his life based on a fraud he can be a prophet of God Any Muslim can answer? Is that the morality the Muslims they try to convince us with? Are you sure? This is story which we show you here in front of you exploring the deep thinking or let's say go deep inside Muhammad it show us that Muhammad is a perverted man and he want and he wish and he like and he think the best marriage is to marry a child and the purpose is she's a virgin you sport with her you see Muhammad he have a mental issue there's no question about that because why a man at the age of at, at that time almost is going in his 60 why somebody in the age of 60 he want to sport with the wife what sport with her he want to play with her what do you mean you want to play with her why you don't marry a young girl and he what he mean by young girl some might some might might say oh maybe she's 18 we are talking about children's here The Quran says it clearly, sorry, the Hadith says it clearly that Muhammad did marry Aisha when she was at the age of six. And he was molesting her until she became nine years old and he had intercourse. That is the truth. So the question can Muhammad be a prophet of God I will stop here to give a chance for people to download this video and post it around and we will open our broadcast again maybe in an hour from now all right and we will have a new topic 
right now in my clock here it's 4 15 so we will be back online on air at 5 15 max be with us and come back here guys and feel free to download my videos and share it with your friends there's no question that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud and Muslims they will do exactly as Muhammad do how you can marry a Muslim how a Western woman or an Asian woman or a black woman she can trust a Muslim to marry her if the Prophet of Islam he marry women to use them you can ask any Muslim why Muhammad marry many women they will say to you to spread Islam which means he was using them anyway even according to the Muslim answers imagine I marry you to spread whatever I have or to, 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 to make myself a prophet so be with us after an hour from now Christ is Lord Islam is false and feel free to download the video it takes a few minutes for you for YouTube to process it and you will be able to download be back with us again within an hour from now God bless and thank you very much